what is up youtube and what the hell welcome back but i just wanted to stop by make a little cute video of uh, just like behind the scenes of um, me child. prepping anyway, for so. ink magazines so i got selected to be to compete in the cover of ink vogue uh, ink magazine sorry i don't know why i said vogue um i got selected to be in this competition and the competition we today is february 3rd and the competition starts february 5th so we are prepping right now i'm doing my nails don't mind i know the freaking acrylic is really bad but um we got a drill so it's fine we're gonna drill it out we're gonna do our nails right now um we are prepping right now for the photo shoot so i got my hair done um this is a wig <laughs> this is a wig bro but I'll sh I right now it's not brushed out and stuff. Um, I literally just put it in like a little ponytail because <laughs> this is my real freaking scalp, by the way. This is like my real hair on the top, but the bottom obviously is fake. <laughs> so yeah, so we got the hair done. We're working on nails and are prepping right now for the photo shoot. It's very stressful. Um super stressful i have been on a diet and when i mean diet means like fasting so i haven't been yeah i've just been trying i mean i've been going to the gym you know i've been using my waist trainer little stuff like that but i will get back to you guys when these nails are done and we when we get our makeup and stuff done so we will be back so we are on our way to the photo shoot um the competition literally starts tomorrow the cover of ink magazine literally starts tomorrow let me put my sleeve on real quick to make sure i make it safe um but yeah so i did get my hair done and um, my makeup is done nails are done everything is done i'm on my way to the shoot right now so my photographer lives in pueblo so I'm currently driving to Pueblo right now uh, for the photo shoot. I'm going to show you guys the outfit and all that later on, but all that you guys got to know is that she got inches, y'all. She got inches on inches on inches. Um, red, you know, I got little hearts on my nails and stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is the nails. I don't know if you can see them, but like, yeah, so they're kind of like Valentine's Day themed. Um, we got the hair done and then when I get my outfit on I will show you guys and then once we are at the shoot and the location and everything I'm gonna show you guys that as well so stay tuned for that and I'm so excited I'm so excited like I said competition starts tomorrow so um, that's why I'm trying to get this photo shoot out trying to get these pictures posted on my vlog I guess for tonight but um yeah i'll update you guys and i'll keep you guys updated and stuff so you guys just stay tuned and enjoy the vlog all right guys so we are here at the location of the shoot um i got my outfit on and we are gonna start shooting and we will show you guys the pictures and everything later but this is a view super cute um these are they turned out so good like she showed me a few of them but not all of them but whenever she edits them and stuff like that i'll make sure to put that, those pictures here in the vlog so you guys can see and yeah i just wanted to show you guys like the process of me prepping for ink magazines and stuff and just coming on with the journey with me to see if i make it on the cover um so i want to make it to at least top 10 top 5 so Just I ended up making it to top 20. Later on in the video, I'll show you the highest rank I got. I want to make it to at least top 10, top 5. So every single round um, or of the competition that you do make, so like let's say you outvote another girl so that you're advancing into the competition, they give out giveaways. So the better, the, the farther you make it into the competition, the better the prizes will be. So... Um, so yeah so that's basically how that competition stuff works out and if you obviously get qual disqualified then they send you a message and hey you just didn't make it to the next round but we'll see guys we'll see how the photo shoot um helps me i guess i don't know uh but yeah if i do anything exciting or whatever um i'll put it in the vlog i don't really have plans for um 
today but if something fun pops up or whatever then we'll go do that and i'll make sure it's in the vlog for you guys but don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you doing subscribe to my channel y'all and um again like i said we'll i'll cut back to you y'all so we are done with the photo shoot and i lost a nail um uh, they ask it you was how such you are. a good, great, successful photo shoot. Um, super happy. I just took my lashes off, um, changed my skirt into my pants, and I got my cute Hello Kitty sneakers on. Ah, I gotta show y'all. I know I'm gonna look crazy doing this in the car, but look, bro. I had these are like my dream shoes, <laughs> bro. I had to get these. Anyways, we are here at In and Out, and we got a nice. A burger fat burger with some fries that i have not been able to eat for almost a month now i've been um fasting for my photo shoot so i was fasting and if anytime i did get cravings or i just felt like i was like literally starving and i couldn't hold it anymore all i would eat would be like a little thing of tuna like this big and an apple like a what are those called granny up granny smith apples like one of those and that's it in water straight up water no salt no sugar and it was super hard to keep this diet like there's points where and working out wearing my waist trainer like it was a lot it was a lot and i worked very hard for this photo shoot to um you know to be successful and basically because i really want i want you know i have the drive and i really want to obviously be on the ink cover but ink covered magazines whatever <laughs> um yes yeah, so one nail down uh this is a little close-up of the nails i did them myself um i know they're super extra but that's how it's supposed to that's what i wanted for the shoot but anyways y'all let's get into this burger come on and we got got a cherry coke y'all i haven't been able to drink soda for almost a fucking month <laughs> literally the best this is the moment i'm like about to cry, cry. <laughs> just kidding no i'm not about to cry this is like the most heartfelt worm feeling ever bro i haven't been able to drink a fucking coke in so long i almost forgot the flavor of coke <laughs> um ciao anyway so just kidding y'all but yes i am gonna dig in this is like my this is me celebrating my successful photo shoot and it came out really good and i'm so happy um the photographer is awesome she's great i'll leave her instagram link below so you guys if you guys do want to shoot with her she is in the pueblo area she's not in colorado springs um but if you guys are willing to work with her she's willing to work with you and um yeah <laughs> What the hell? Oh my I've never enjoyed a meal so much. The last time I enjoyed a meal this much was uh, when I got diagnosed um, with like insomnia, depression, and all that shit. So I'll tell you guys my diagnosis. I don't really care. So I have depression like i was on medication too so uh, i have depression insomnia mood disorder and i'm trying to think i feel like there's another one yeah so depression i do i want to say no anxiety is not on there i got diagnosed again and it turns out i do have anxiety so yeah so just yeah that, that, that's it just depression insomnia and mood disorder so mood disorder would be like by before i get into all of that i just want to let y'all know i did make it to the top Taylor. five and shout out to all my um top voters really crazy, but love y'all shout have, out to y'all um, bipolar tendencies i guess you can call it but it's not like crazy bad like i'm not super crazy um bipolar up up to the point where i can't control it sometimes it is like that but sometimes no but yeah like like i said it never has to be super you better stop, stop. Like, being bipolar sometimes affects you in little things too not just like even relation like you don't know how many times i've messed up friendships relationships over over this and i never knew why like what was wrong with me until i got diagnosed then i got meds and stuff but um 
yeah so i remember like this is super crazy and i know you guys are gonna look at me crazy but if you judge people no, i'm just kidding but um yeah so like i'll be driving on the street and like i don't know like i'll miss a turn like three different times and like i can go down the same road and i will miss the turn three times and it's just like little things like that or like i'll be driving somewhere um to a certain location and i end up in a totally different location that i didn't even want to drive to and i'm just like what the fuck am i doing here again excuse my french i'm trying to stop cussing guys i'm working on it but yeah like i'll be driving and then like out of nowhere i just end up somewhere where i didn't even want to be and i'm just like how did i end up here or like i'll build really good friendships with people and and like i have really bad trust issues too i don't know if you guys know that so tmi guys i do have really bad trust issues as well like super bad um and anytime that like i have a friendship or like somewhat situationship um anytime that they mess up like literally even the slightest bit like whether that's them complaining about something or whether that's them not calling me back whether that's them not texting me back whether that's them hanging out with somebody else literally any little thing will trigger it like little things like that i will kid you not i will block them like literally i will go on instagram and block them kid you not it's that bad like i will block them i will ever talk to them again i will take all their pictures down off social media or just delete them off my camera roll this goes to friends too not just like situationships like, like friendships too and like i'll text them back and they're like what the is wrong with you girl like you didn't you literally ignored me for two months just because i didn't reply to you or like just because i said it left a comment under something on your story and you didn't like it and you didn't confront me about it and you just decided to ignore me for two months straight and for those friends that are close to me and know me very well you know that like i'll have i'm like i'm like the the friend that like will ghost for months like i will ghost for two months three months and i'll come back and i'll act like your bestie and i'll act like this with you but my real friends understand that they don't take like the ghosting personal because they know how I am. So I, you know, if you guys know this, I was raised in New Mexico. I wasn't raised here in Colorado Springs, even though I was born here. Um, I go back and forth. I always go back and forth. So I'll spend a couple months down there, a couple months over here. Like, you know, it's it goes, it comes and goes. And my friends understand, like my friends understand if I'm not talking to them, it's totally fine because I'm going to come right back and be there for them and act the same way and everything like that. But like some people, some friends take that personal and some people don't understand my love language, I guess you can say, or like my, the way that I like friendships to work out and be, but, um, if that makes sense and they don't understand that. So they, they take it personal and they think that I don't want to be the friend anymore and all of this drama stuff that I don't ever want to deal with, but they just don't know. You know what I mean? They think they, they just look at me crazy and they just don't know. They just don't know. I I'm diagnosed with all these different things. So anytime a friend ever goes to you, like, don't ever think bad. Like, don't play these scenarios in your head like oh they don't like me anymore or like this this, and that like don't think that because you don't know if they have any mental illnesses that they are struggling with and that they don't feel comfortable telling you and everybody about um and the only reason why i'm putting this in this vlog is because i think mental health is very important guys and you guys should always look at yourself in the mirror and be able to like what you see so who gives a rats but <laughs> what anybody if anybody loves you if anybody and if anybody likes you as long as you look in that mirror and you like what you see you're good girl like don't even trip <laughs> but yeah i just want to come out here and say that and i think i'm going to end the vlog here guys it was super great super successful and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are not subscribed and if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel i am nelly and i would love to have you here and have you watch my vlogs a little bit more and if you like the content subscribe don't forget to follow my social medias instagram snapchat all that stuff all that good stuff and thank you for watching this video and i will see you guys on my next <laughs> <laughs>